Hello, hi babe. I'm great. I flew in last night and um, I just thought of seeing you. Where are you at? Okay, uh, so um, I just have a little bit of a cold, so I'm just driving through the market area. I don't know this place and um, just buying a few lemons and some ginger. Yeah, nothing serious, just a flu kind of and uh, I can meet you up in the next 30 minutes. Is that okay with you? I miss you so much. I need to see you. Yeah, nothing serious. It's just a cold. I think it's just a jet lag and aircon in the planes and all that. So I'm just getting some ginger and I'll be there soon. Dress up, we do some, we go hit some clubs, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. Thank you. I'll be calling shortly. Bye. I love you too. At the pronouncement of every death it claims, everyone whispers a silent prayer to be counted among as the living and in sound health. For it has no respect of one's status, and at the mention of its name, everyone's attention is drawn. It has brought more harm than good, and has raised two numerous questions that go unanswered. Raised billions of concerns in the voices of many, and that of a poor African woman belonging to a poverty-stricken society. If coronavirus, COVID-19, has got no respect of financial status, what about her? She is raising her children by means of hand-to-mouth trade engagements. How then does she raise her kids when tomorrow is almost not guaranteed? On top of the already existing problems in her life endeavors, coronavirus has left no stone unturned in terms of destroying her life. If one thing can provide wisdom beyond our comprehension of how fragile, interconnected, and precious life is, corona, COVID-19 has offered a plethora of lessons on a personal, regional and worldwide level. The trumpet of its unwavering winds of destruction are blowing from all corners of the world. It came like wildfire, a deadly scourge ravaging the universe. It shakes the rich and weakens the vulnerable even more.